Hello everyone, J.R. Dukes here with jrdukes.com. I'm coming at you with another motivation clip for you. I hope you enjoy it. The sky is unlimited when you have the means to help other people and to help yourself, quite frankly. But that is not going to be a reality if you choose not to have a free mind and you choose to simply sit back and just let things happen to you. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Again, no one's coming to rescue you. You have to be your own superhero. You have to get up every day. You have to dress for success. You have to act like a successful person acts. You have to get up. You have to wake up. You have to show up. And you have to work. Make no mistake about it. There's nothing in this life that you're, you're going to achieve without hard work. I have worked every day of my life. And I'm glad I have worked every day of my life. It's important for all of us to work. It's important for all of us to have something to do, someone to love, and something to look forward to. Trust me on this. You want to work for yourself. You want to start that business you've been thinking of. If you have a seed in your mind, if you have something in your mind, something in your heart, something gnawing on you, saying you're not where you should be, if you're not happy getting up and going to your job, if you are always looking forward to the weekend. If you're saying, thank God it's Friday, every Friday. If you can't wait to run out of your office or run out of wherever you're working at, then you owe it to yourself to methodically, strategically, logically, and immediately start making plans to change your life. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family. You owe it to your children, your partner, whatever your life situation is. You owe it to your God to live up to your best. You owe it to yourself to be the best that you can be. Don't hide your talents. Don't just sit on your laurels. Get up and make your life the best life it can possibly be. I know it's very cliche to say that, hey, I've got, you know, very short amount of time. Uh, I, I can do it later. Uh, we hear people say on the other side that, oh, life is short. Well, you know, we hear that all the time, but I'm not sure many of us really believe that. Trust me, it's very short. It goes by very quickly. The Bible says that life is like a vapor. It's there and gone, and it is. I can promise you it is. I'm now almost 52 years of age, and I can assure you, it seems like yesterday I was in high school. It just goes by very quickly, and you don't want to waste any of it. Today is the present, and trust me, you need to treat it like it is a present. Treat it, treat today as the present that it is. It's a gift from God. You need to treat it as such and use it as such. And that is what I plead with you to do. You have the ability to do pretty well whatever it is you can find and you can picture in your mind to do. If you agree to get right with yourself, to decide that you're going to be a hard worker, to focus in on what you want, you can be successful. And I can tell you right now that hard work, that changing your life is not easy. It's not easy. It's painful. It is. It's painful. And I can tell you exactly what the pain feels like that is required to change your life. The pain feels exactly like this. You know how you wake up in the morning, let's say you got your clock set for 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and the alarm goes off, and you hear that alarm blaring, and, and you first wake up, and, and that feeling you feel, and you reach over, and you just turn off the clock, and you really just want to lay there and not get up, that pain you feel is the pain that is required that you must overcome in order to be successful. My uh, one guy I used to listen to all the time, and I still listen to all the time, is old Zig Ziglar. And I like what he used to call it. He calls it an opportunity clock, and I think that's exactly right. You need to look forward to your 
alarm clock going off. You need to go to bed early, you need to get the right sleep, and when that alarm clock goes off and it's the time you need to get up, you need to turn that opportunity clock off, you need to get out of the bed, throw the sheets off you, and get moving. Do not waste time. Do not overthink it. Get up, get moving. Do whatever it takes to wake yourself up. Get yourself a morning routine established and take on your day. And if you learn to do that every single day and you tell yourself, listen, I can control my own body. I can control my own impulses. I'm going to take charge of my life and I'm going to make things happen. And if you can do that and you choose to do that, and you can do that, but if you choose to do that, you will be unstoppable. I do appreciate you joining me today. I hope that the information I provided you with, you find beneficial, and that it will encourage you, that it will inspire you to take charge of your life and make something happen in your life that will get you closer to your goals, get you closer to where you want to be so that you can live your best life starting today. And remember, always free your mind and never give up. I am J.R. Dukes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please take a moment, hit the subscribe button, and give me a thumbs up right below. I do appreciate it, and thank you.